Where is she? Said this one out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bad. <laughs> you just get some sleep and feel better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay. <coughs> <Right>? <coughs> That's good. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Precipitation! Oh, oh. Okay. Ah! We'll get you the full week's weather later in the news. Sounds good. Six zero six kilometers. 
A family in South Carolina says that an alligator in a neighborhood lagoon killed their 85-pound husky. The island packet reports that the dog was drinking from the lagoon before the incident. Local residents in the area shared their concerns, citing the suspect's well-documented history of being an instigator. <laughs> The Greenville area soon will have a new way for patients to connect with a doctor via smartphone app. Both St. Francis Health System and GHS are expanding telehealth to fit the millennial generation's desire for convenient, fast health answers. We wanted to provide our patients with their own personalized health care experience, says Dr. Marcus Blackstone, with the opportunity to kill excessive wait times by pumping off to their favorite pornos on their iPads. <laughs> Former Malden High Football All-Star Taylor Hudson has become a star officer for the Malden Police Department. An infant was unresponsive. After arriving at the home, Hudson checked for signs of life and then began performing CPR. Police Chief Brian Turner took a moment to commend the heroic act of Hudson, who was given a standing ovation by everyone in attendance for his heroic act of not just standing there. <laughs> Alright, now let's go to the legend himself, John Gilduff, Mr. Let's Paint TV with the weather. Take it away. Ah! Alright, take take two. You're getting all this, Cinco, baby. Take two, weather. We're doing this, baby. Hey, South Carolina, Mr. Let's Paint here with the weather for this week. Ugh. Monday, of a high of 76. Ugh. And also Tuesday, a high of 68 goes down just a tad bit. Ugh. The clouds are starting to come in the midweek. And mostly sunny on Wednesday, and then boom, Thursday, it is scattered thunder showers. Ah, and that's gonna be the big day. That's the day that's not gonna be, you know, that's gonna be a nice day depending on how you look at it. <laughs> Some people like clouds. Some people don't like clouds. People like rain. Uh, but if you're looking for the rain, we need the rain, you know. But uh, that's the big problem. I mean, I don't gotta get into rain. Rain is a big problem. <laughs> and that's high at 68. That's a 60% chance, guys. 60% persistent precipitation. Precipitation. Ah! And winds uh, 16 miles an hour. So watch out. Button down the hatches, maybe. And then uh, partly cloudy on Friday. And then Saturday, mostly Sunday. And then it looks like it's going to another another storm front's coming their way. Uh, into Sunday, starting to build up, but it looks like some trouble's brewing for the weather this week. This is Mr. Let's Paint. Let's go back to the news. Oh, uh. Ooh, here's one. Researchers at the University of California, Davis, included Greenville among a study of 860 U.S. cities' personalities to determine if harmony between a resident's personality and the overall personality of their city could have psychological impact. They found similarities. Greenville Forest Park didn't register on the extreme end of any category, but significant traits were notably present in the two categories, apathy and eating. <laughs> How's this taste? Vitessa, a global designer and manufacturer of non-woven fabrics, has announced a $52 million expansion to its existing operations in Simpsonville. The expansion is expected to create 38 new jobs. The project was originally slated for January this year, but was delayed due to heavy protests and threats of violence by upstate Donald Trump supporters over what turned out to just be a big misunderstanding. <laughs> they thought it was a fiesta. <laughs> Freddy likes them. Oh, here's one. A Marshall Tucker band tribute show is this weekend in Spartanburg, as well as Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. <laughs> How about this? Upstate Hope concert set to benefit God's Pantry. The third edition of the Upstate Hope event for God's Pantry is set for its biggest stage ever this year, which induced promoters to move the concert from its original location, God's Diapers. <laughs> Here's one. The Greenville Zoo is preparing to move Walter the Maasai Giraffe to another location in the next few weeks. Walter was showing signs of wanting to move to the big city and see the world around him instead of falling into the Greenville trap, having more kids and working a boring job, going to the same bars with the same people he went to high school with. 
The Greenville Zoo advised zoo patrons not to fear, however, even reassuring them that its cage space will not be filled, anticipating the coming fall when Walter inevitably comes home to crash in Greenville for a couple months to save some money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Ah! Ah!